Okay, so let's have a look at question one here. So we need to solve this equation, sine theta equals two cos two theta plus one, giving all solutions in that particular interval. Now, if we think about it, sine theta, I can't really change, but we do know something with the double angle formula. Now, if we think about two cos two theta, let's just work with cos two theta for now. We know that that is the same as cos squared theta minus sine squared theta, which is also the same as two cos squared theta minus one, which is also the same as one minus two sine squared theta. Now, we have to pick the right one of these three to help us answer this question. When you think about sine theta on the left hand side, I can't change that. So I don't want to get a quadratic in terms of cos squared and sine. I don't want the first one or the second one, I want just one in terms of sine. So therefore I am going to pick this third version here. So it's 2 cos 2 theta, so I'm going to say 2 times by 1 minus 2 sine squared theta plus 1. And if I expand the brackets out, I get 2 minus 4 sine squared theta plus 1. And then if I collect everything on the left hand side, I get 4 sine squared theta plus sine theta. And the two plus one is going to be three on the right hand side. So it's minus three on the left hand side equals zero. Now at this stage, what I can do is put it into the calculator. Well, it's a quadratic in terms of it's a quadratic in terms of sine theta. So if I let x equal to sine theta, I get 4x squared plus x minus 3 equals 0. At this stage, I can use a quadratic solver on the calculator, which is under A. And then if I go into polynomial of order 2, I get 4 in as my coefficient of x squared, 1 as my coefficient of x, and minus 3 is my coefficient of c. Um, so what do we get? x equals 3 over 4 and minus 1. So x equals 3 over 4 and x equals minus 1. Now that is the same as saying sine theta equals 3 over 4 and sine theta equals minus 1. Now if you think about the sine graph, it starts at the origin and it's a wave. There's only one place it's minus 1 in the range of 0 to 360. So at this point there, so theta is equal to 270 for that. Now here, I like using the cast diagram to solve. It's up to you what method you solve trig equations. Uh, sine is positive, so if I draw a cast diagram from 0 to 360, 90, 180, 270, back to 360. Now sine is positive 3 over 4, so we've got C, A, S, T. Where is sine positive in A and in S? So therefore, what we can say is that theta is equal to, firstly, we'll get the principal value, sine inverse of 3 over 4 in degree mode. So my calculator, I think, is already in degree mode. If I go into 1 inverse sine of 0 0.75, I'll get 48.6, so the initial angle is 48.6 and so is the other angle from the horizontal 
So we get theta equals 48.6 degrees or 180 minus 48.6 degrees. So we end up getting this or the second solution is to be 180 minus the answer and we get 131.4 131.4 degrees and these are the values of theta if I just underline them so for this this and this and of course you can check whether this is correct by saving those values and putting them in and seeing whether the left hand side equals the right hand side. 